Hey, sunshines. Welcome back to another video. Okay, before we even get any further, I know my lighting is crazy. I know. You ain't got to tell me. But we're here, and that's all that matters, right? So, yeah, I know my light is crazy. I have been trying to get this video out for quite some time. Well over probably two or three months. Pray for me, honey. But we're here now, and that's all that matters. As you guys can see from the title below, this is going to be what I ordered versus what I got. Uh, Amazon edition. You guys, I've been trying to get this video out, like I said, for the longest. If you're following me on Instagram, as you should, you probably have seen this product multiple times because I have a love-hate relationship with it, and I cannot wait to share, share it with you guys. So, yeah. Um, also... I'm going to throw in a couple of little clips um, of me receiving the item, putting it together. and so, well, I wasn't putting it together. The hubby was. But, yeah, him putting it together and so forth. And then I will kind of come back and explain to you guys my thoughts, my recommendations, and so forth. And if you're really, really good, I give y'all a treat and do y'all a small haul for you guys at the end. So if you like this type of content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and continue to keep on watching. See you in a minute. So we got the cabinet put together. This is absolutely the worst piece of furniture I've ever purchased. Not only was the top part bent, but it was bold to where you could see the gapping right here on both sides. It's, it's bold up here. There's styrofoam inside the panels we've tried everything to get it off it's not on the front or the back that's inside the panels it will not remove it's just a worse piece of crap okay you guys this is she this is what the console is currently looking like as of today um, like I said, I do have a love-hate relationship with it. Now, when I originally purchased the item, I only purchased one, and the product came damaged. That middle board right there came extremely bent. And I contacted the seller and was like, hey, it's bent, and the doors and stuff was not aligned correctly and so forth. I didn't have any problems out of the guy, but I could assume he was foreign and his wording was not as clear, but we got through it and he sent me out and a, a replacement right here. This is why I have two. Now, he told me I can do as such with the damage one. Being that I have a very handy husband, Chip tried to align. Let me get a little closer align the doors you probably can't see right here you can see it's really really perfect right here but right here it's a gap that's not how it's supposed to be y'all see that so this is the original console you see that gapping it was not like that 
The holes in the door was not lined up correctly. I know you guys probably cannot tell, but the holes were the little piece, the little stub that connects the door to the to the actual body of the console did not align up. So the seller was like, do as you please. I'm going to send you another one out. He sent it out really, really fast. And I got it like maybe three to four days by FedEx. So I was super pleased. Now, what do I like about it? I like the simplicity of it. I like the style, like the modern design. I like the see-through rib detail glass, but I have to be 100% honest with you guys. This is a Ikea quality product. Now, when I purchased the product, I paid roughly around $179, I believe. I will make sure I leave everything down below. But when I last checked a few weeks after I purchased mine, I noticed that the price dropped. So you know how that goes with Amazon. The price can fluctuate. But I do like it. This is what I was going for. I wanted something that could possibly take up this whole wall because I originally was going to buy one, see how it works out for me, and purchase another one. This was a blessing in disguise because I only paid for one and I got the look I was going for. Now, this is not my permanent console. This is just something temporary, but I do like it. I think it works for the space. This is my dining room. Dining room is pretty fair size. And it's okay. I haven't found my dining room table of choice as of yet. I sold all my older pieces and I put that money towards the new pieces. So that's what I'm going to do as well for as my dining room is concerned. Now, the console did come with sleek black handles. If you're following me on Instagram, you probably have saw that I did change out the handles and I ordered these crystal, well, acrylic um, handles right here from Amazon. Like I said, they was kind of pricey. I think they was like six for like $30, but it's still giving me the look that I want. And that's the key, getting what I want. I'm not settling, but I did settle on this, but it's not a bad settle or regretful settle. However... So I am housing in here just some of my cute glassware and some of my dishes. It's not 100% complete. I have been still playing with it and so forth. So I'm going to give you an overview and we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, so right here I just have my knot. Right here I got from um, Target Studio McGee. This is a home goods. Um, clearance item. I think I paid less than $15 for it. I believe the top was broke. I didn't receive the top, but it was broke. Here's some um, home good pompous. I absolutely love it. It's not that shedding kind. It's more so just that I don't know, but it doesn't shed, and I need to find another pack so bad. Next, I just have a couple of coffee table books made for living, living in style by Rachel Zoe. Um, home goods. Dollar Tree. These links was from TJ Maxx on clearance for like six bucks. My crystal bowl, a couple of crystals that I have here from various stores, Home Good, TJ Maxx, but the bowl is from Home Good itself. I paid like $25 for it. I got the infamous Tom Ford book, Amazon. I'll make sure I leave that down below. Um, this counter is from Audi right here absolutely love the aesthetic of that and that cloche is from ikea and the base right here is from dollar tree it's just a, a base a mirror that i'm using for a counter holder super cute right and my body 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 yeah 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 um it's from home goods y'all know everybody and their mama trying to get their hands on this body because it's giving it's so nice but yeah Home goods, $59, I believe. Now, I'm in this doggone frame, in this mirror, and I'm trying not to be because I look a fool. But here are two mirrors right here that I have over the console. This is a large one right here. 
that came from where did I purchase that from? I want to say Home Goods. No, yeah, Home Goods, Home Goods. And this one right here is smaller, and I did it on purpose. That came from Audi. I just love that. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? That um uh, uncentered. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Um, uneven, unflawed look. I just, I just love that. So that's why I did that on purpose. So yeah, that is what's on top of the console. Next, I just have a few glasswares. I have some um, wine glasses, some dessert. I call them dessert glasses because they just short, but I love the aesthetic of them. Some Dollar Tree plates right here. Look how high end that looks. Some more Dollar Tree plates right there. And over here, I have some more wine glasses and so forth. I'm not going to open all up, but this is what it's looking like. So, would I recommend this piece? If you're looking for a cheap alternative, but give you a high-end look, a low but high-end look, I will recommend it. But you're going to have to make it your own. Um, Meaning... Don't put a lot of clutter on it. Don't just junk it up. Put some nice high end, low and high end pieces on it. Um, if you're looking for something for longevity, I would not recommend it. Because like I said before, it's on the IKEA quality level. My husband do have it attached to the wall because it did come with um, fasteners to attach to the wall so it won't tilt over, which is good. But it just depends on your vision for this piece. Like I said, I wanted it for this back wall, and I got that. So it's given. It's given, and it's only temporary to I get my home. I am a renter, but it's given. Tell me what you guys think down below. I just, I just love, I just love it. I know I don't, I'm not going to say I'm in love, but I love it. Here's another angle of how it looks. Right here. So yeah, guys, this is what I ordered versus what I got. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to give y'all a little haul. See you in a minute. Also, you guys, I forgot to let you guys know that this is a true black. It's not an espresso. It is a true black. And one of the downfalls of this piece is it attracts handprints. Watch this. You see that? So if you touch it, you have to wait for it to, you know, evaporate and such. But yeah, I, I, I will recommend it if you're going for a less expensive vision something that's you know gonna do what it's supposed to do and that's about it but far as longevity no ma'am no ham no turkey i would not recommend this piece it's very light but i don't have any children in the home besides my granddaughter who comes to visit uh but she knows not to touch this so i don't have children here in the home where they'll be pulling on it yanking on it setting stuff down so I don't have no problem. So yeah, I make sure I leave all the information down below and you guys check it out for yourselves. Let me know what you think. portion of today's video i know i told you guys i was gonna give y'all just a little bit of haul y'all know i can't stay at them stores but i need to but i do want to show you guys what i picked up 
over the past week or two. It's not a lot. It's just a few pieces, but I wanted to share with you guys, like always. So, you know, I've been going into Ross um, these past couple of weeks. I've been showing a little stuff here and there on my Instagram stories. If you're not following me over there, please consider doing so. I would love to have you. It's that live to shine, just like my YouTube handle. I make sure I leave everything down below. So, yeah, I've been in Ross picking up a few pieces here and there, just looking for some nice pieces. Yeah, y'all got to start sleeping on Ross. Y'all need to really start sleeping on Ross because Ross do have some low-end nice pieces. Like, I'm telling y'all, if y'all like it, go, go, go get it. Stop telling, letting folks tell y'all what y'all can and can't put in your house. Ross has some nice pieces. Now, we ain't talking no seahorses or no unicorns or no fish bones and stuff like that we talking about some nice quality high-end looking pieces pieces you can probably think they all came from z gallery cb2 um restoration hardware piece stuff like that you know we ain't we ain't doing turtles and stuff no nah, we ain't doing none of that keep keep that with it but i'm gonna show you what i did so i showed on my story that i picked up this beauty right here isn't she pretty i just love the lot y'all i don't know if you kind of been seeing the the the, the vision i've been loving lines i've been loving real detail and lines this is just so pretty and it reminds me of something you probably will get from um z gallery you know what i'm saying so this was on clearance see what i'm talking about some good pieces and save some money at the same time $5.99, you guys. On clear $5.99. Now I can't tell what it what it originally was cost. What it originally cost. Okay, it says original $11.99. I don't know. But I just think this is absolutely cute. Do I know where I'm gonna put it at? No, but I got it because it was on clearance and it was cute. I, I could do some with it. And I liked it so much I picked up two. So yeah, I'm excited about these two vases. I probably won't put any flowers in it, but if I do. There'll probably be something, I don't know, something very simple and chic, but I got those. Uh-oh. Okay, next. Hold on, let me bend over and get this, y'all. Okay, so if y'all been following me, I keep saying it. Y'all should be following me on Instagram. You know, I be giving y'all all the tea before I put it over here. Um, make sure y'all are subscribed over here too, because I got a giveaway coming up soon. And y'all gonna y'all gonna really like this. So make sure y'all are subscribed and hit that little bell thingy so you won't miss any of my uploads. Cause I don't want you to say, oops, son, I'm missing my number. Mm -mm, I don't want it because you know the drill. You know the drill. Hit that bell doo, 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 and make sure it says notification. All right, enough of that. So if you've been following me for a while, like I said, y'all know around the uh, fall, Thanksgiving, Christmas season, I had started picking up these really pretty, I forgot the original maker's name, but I remember seeing the, the, um, the originals pieces in like Macy's and Nordstrom. I cannot think of the name of those pieces, but I'll make sure I leave it across the screen somewhere. But you know, when everybody found out Ross was carrying dupes for them, Baby, everybody named mom trying to get them a couple pieces. So, I found me a platter to go with my current collection. If you've been following me, you know, I had the three um, bowls, the three sizes, like large, medium, small. I had another uh, rectangle um, platter. And I had some matching or coordinating spoon, you know, serving wear to go with it. But I absolutely love this platter. And it has the, I'm not a gold person. I want to be. But you know, I'm just I'm just kind of stuck in my ways. I haven't transitioned yet. So I might put a few pieces of gold here and there just to see how I like it. But I don't know. I don't really like change. And I need to stop that. Because change means growth. But I just love this. This just looks so beautiful and high end. I don't want to blind you guys. But it just looks so beautiful and high end. So I use these pieces for Thanksgiving, but I think I want to start using them a little bit more because they do have flowers and some pieces have the little cute birds and stuff on it. And it can represent spring and summer so forth. But I just want to do me a cute little display, maybe a charcuterie on here, cheese or whatever, fruit, whatever. But I got this from Ross and I only paid $12.99 for it. 
I think the other piece was a little bit lesser, and this is the most expensive piece. But the original, if y'all know who I'm talking about, leave it down below. I appreciate you guys. It's much, much expensive, so I take this thumbnail. So, yeah, I got that. And last but not least, you guys, when I saw this, I was like, oh, my God, it looks so good. I had messaged my friend. She knows who she is. Hey, girl. Um, <laughs> And I was like, oh, my God. This is so nice. This is so nice. So I show her a picture of it. She was like, did you get it? And I'm like, yep. Y'all, look what I found in Ross. Doesn't this remind you of something from like CB2, um, Restoration Hardware? Look at this. My husband was like, what is that, a rooster? <laughs> I was like, nah, fool. It's like a live edge wood sculpture. And the base is black. It's very, very sturdy. And I paid $24.99 for it right there. And it came from Indonesia. And I absolutely love it, you guys. I'm going to actually put it here in my little lounge area. Well, okay, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all this and I'm going to go. This where I'm sitting at is kind of my, it's called a flex room. Now, I originally had it set up as my husband's um, work area, his desk chair. Y'all, I had a lamp right here. A table right here, a desk here with a chair. I saw all that stuff the other day as a bundle deal. I wanted something different. I wanted something fresh. Although I love the pieces, um, I'm gonna um, duplicate what I got, but just in a different tones. Like I want my desk to be a little bit lighter to complement some of my lighter tone woods in my home because the desk was like a cherry wood. Like a, like a walnut. Y'all probably seen on my Instagram. I wanted something a little bit lighter. Because I want my house to feel very airy and, and light. You know what I'm saying? So I got rid of all that. That lady was so excited to get all them those pieces for that good price. So yeah, I picked this up and I'm so excited. I'm going to actually house it on my bookcase. I'm not going to show you right now because it can look a fool. Because like I said, I sold my stuff. So all the things that was in my husband's desk and on the little table, they over here on the floor. And look, this ain't a perfect channel. This is a no judgment channel, but I ain't finna have y'all judging me anyway, because I ain't finna show y'all. But I'm going to house it over here on this bookcase. There's a built-in bookcase over here that is, you know, attached to the thing on wall. It came like that. Why they did that? I don't know. Because I don't know why they did it. it ain't mine. But I'm going to house this over here, and I'm going to fix it up really, really nice. So right now, I just have it kind of like a little lounge area for my husband. Got my wingback chair. I got his little, you probably can't see, got his little um, spirit set it, station set up right here. This is only temporary, but I just wanted to explain to you guys why I was looking where it was looking and where I was going to put this in. That is all, you guys. That is all. So... I hope you have truly enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. That really, really helps me. And, you know, your girl trying to get her numbers up, you know. Don't be just looking. Subscribe. You know you like, especially if you've been here like two or three, four times. Girl, you know you're obsessed with me. And that's okay. I love you too. I'll catch you on my next one.